What up y'all, this is Patrick Hayes, and recently I've been talking a lot about subtle energy dynamics. I just recently made a video about the importance of understanding what subtle energy dynamics are and the importance of tuning into that so we can become more aware of the subtle energy dynamics in our body. What I wanna talk about today is a particular subtle energy dynamic that I've been working on a lot recently. It's come back around for me and it's been extremely profound in its ability to really uh, deepen my awareness and liberate me from certain blocks and resistances that I had had. And this is the understanding of the energy dynamic of on one hand, expanding and opening up into something, and on the other side of that, contracting and shying away and restricting away from things. And in understanding those two different energies on an energetic level, it gives me the ability to really kind of scrub my energy in regards to many different things where I might have mixed feelings, partially be partially resistant, but partially enthusiastic about, um, and then also understand how to modulate my energy in the moment if I find myself in a situation where I'm over restrictive to something because I understand how that energy moves in my body and I understand how to kickstart the movement of that and shift myself into another state on a purely energetic level. So we've all had the experience of being really excited about something. We all know what that feeling is when we're excited about our favorite TV show or our favorite food and there's just no resistance. We open up into it. Even better, we know that feeling of when we're really grateful or we have like a really beautiful thought and how our energy field expands and the energy flows through us when we have that experience. And that's a beautiful opening up kind of experience. And we want more of that in our life. In fact, we want to be able to have an opening up experience when we're doing those things in our life that we know that we should do especially those things that we have to do. Because when we have a resistance experience around the things that we have to do or that we know that we should do or the things that we want to do, that is what blocks us from being able to achieve our dreams. And oftentimes, when we have that resistance feeling, what can happen is if we're not aware of that resistance that we have in our body, then our mind can come in and it can lie to us. It can tell us, no, it's a better idea to do this. But really what it is, is our mind making up an excuse for us to do something other than what we know we should do because we have a resistance feeling and we don't want to do it. And that resistance is basically pulling us away from the thing that we want to do and we're making up an excuse. It's called backwards rationalization. We're backwards rationalizing our behavior by coming up with some mental scenario that gives us the opportunity to avoid something that we know we should do. But when we have the awareness physiologically and in our subtle etheric sense, of what's going on in our body, it's harder for our mind to trick us because we realize that we're in a non-resourceful state. We're in a restrictive kind of pulling away state. When we feel that in our body, even when it's very subtle, we know that we are susceptible to our mind playing tricks on us in this moment. So if we start coming up with excuses of why we shouldn't do something, we can realize that the, the source of that excuse very much can be the resistance that we have in our energy body. And by the way, that resistance, that negative space inside our energy bodies, that is the open space for negative infiltration from non-physical beings that might have negative agendas for you. So when you're judgmental towards something or you're feeling really restrictive or really afraid of something, this is the opportunity for an external being to come inside and start puppeting your thinking. And oftentimes this is what keeps us from being able to pursue our path because we're constantly getting pulled off our path by beings that have a different agenda for us. And I'll go into that in another video more in detail. But for this one, I'm gonna stick more to just the actual energy dynamics in our body. Now, a common example that I think most people will be able to understand and resonate with is the idea of if you've ever been like going to the grocery store and you don't want anyone to see you, maybe you live in a small town or maybe at the grocery store, there's people that you run into on a regular basis. And this could be anything. I'm sure everybody's had this experience to a certain degree where you're going somewhere and you don't really want to be seen. You just want to be in and out. Now, in that kind of a situation, feel into your body. What kind of energy do you have? What I've noticed with me when I'm in that situation, it's, it is that restrictive energy. I'm kind of shying away. I'm averting eye contact. I don't want to be seen. I'm kind of making myself smaller so that I'm not seen. And that is very much the energy movement of restriction, of shying away. And ultimately, that's not a space that I wanna be in. What I've come to realize is that I can still be in an expansive state 
and go into those situations and handle it from a resourceful, expansive state without having to hide or recoil away from it. When I'm hiding or recoiling away from it, it's actually making me less resourceful. But when I expand into the idea, listen, I know I wanna get in and out of here, but I'm not afraid to see anybody that I run into. In fact, I'm open to seeing them. And if I see them, it's, hey, how you doing? I'm in a hurry right now. It's great to see you though and then move on. But I'm doing it from an expansive space. And a lot of the things that we resist can actually be met from this expansive space in a healthy way. Where it becomes unhealthy and unnatural is when it's neurotic to the point where you're doing something like, and I used to have this problem, speaking on camera, yet my body's recoiling away. I'm acting as if like the camera can hurt me or kill me in some way. That's actually neurotic. That's not a resourceful space. So being able to identify that in my body and then learn how to kind of do a reverse move on that energetically puts me in a more resourceful space so that I can start approaching the things in my life from an expansive space where I'm more resourceful and then actually perform better in whatever area that that is. So the idea really here is being able to tune into your body, constantly tune into yourself and feel the feeling of resistance. Feel what it feels like when you recoil away from something, when you judge something. Feel what it feels like in your body. It feels like a squeezing in the solar plexus. Some people's hands get a little bit sweaty. The, the number one thing to look for is the, the tensification, tensifying in your neck, in your shoulders, in your back, in your solar plexus. That tensing of energy, that energy is restrictive energy. It's literally restricting the energy flow in your body. Where conversely, when you have a beautiful thought, when you're looking at a sunset or something moves you, you breathe deeply and you feel the energy move right? These are, these are two different kinds of energy movements. And the more you can be aware of them, the more you can really get to know what it feels like to feel them, naturally, the easier it becomes to be able to modulate your energy movements in the direction that you want to modulate them. In other words, the more I have become aware of what it feels like to be tense and also become aware of what it feels like to expand, the easier it is for me when I'm feeling tense to relax into expansion. Breath is directly associated with this also. When you're in a resourceful state, you're breathing deeply and you're just calm and you're chilling. Eventually you get to the point where when you feel yourself starting to tense, you have an overarching knowing that if it's not a truly life-threatening situation, it's pointless to be tensing up. And just that knowing alone is all you need. It's a background knowing. You don't even need to be thinking that thought. It's a background knowing that gives you permission to just start relaxing. And then you can start relaxing in those moments instead of tensing. When you feel yourself tensing, instead of looking out for like, oh no, what, what, what am I afraid of? And your mind does that. It starts saying like, what's the enemy? What's the thing coming after me? Oh no, oh no. And you start spinning into these different mental spaces. Well, when you feel yourself physiologically starting to tense up, before you start run, letting your mind run away with it, you already have this knowing kind of in the background that, listen, that's not resourceful. It's never a good idea to go into that space. So I can just focus on relaxing and move my energy that way. And then when you're able to do this, you don't need to go into the mental space all the time of reframing or processing things mentally. You can actually just from an energetic space, move the energy energetically. And that can be actually much more instantaneous than reframing something mentally. Now I'm not saying that you should stop reframing things mentally, but in the moment, sometimes that's not practical. You would always go home then afterwards and be like, okay, what was that thing that I had blocks against? Why did I have those blocks? What beliefs do I have that are making me block against those things? And then you can change those beliefs and then you'll have less of a mental resistance also. But if you can energetically move the energy, then you can actually do it a lot quicker in those moments and you can postpone the mental reframing to another time when you have the time to do that. And just knowing how to move that energy in your body makes you much better at even mentally reframing because when you're in an open space energetically, it's much easier to come with the new reframe, the creative reframing that helps you reinterpret your reality in a way that builds a new belief structure that is more freeing to you. As you keep expanding open, you become more and more the person you wanna be. Ultimately, you have a beautiful energy that wants to flow through you. In order for it to flow through you, you need to be expanded. The more that you can run that circuit of your energy of expansion, the more you're gonna be able to bring through whatever it is that you wanna bring through without resistance. It's resistance oftentimes that runs us into problems that sometimes even seem external. It's that resistance to do something when you know you should do it that makes you do it at the wrong time. And then at the wrong time, 
you know, all these different things come, come across your path and create all these other obstacles as opposed to just being in the flow and doing it in the moment. So the more that we can expand into the things that we're doing and release ourselves into those activities that we know we should be doing, that we have to do, that we're ex excited or inspired to do, then the more flowing our life will be. So thanks so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Hit the bell button if you haven't already hit the bell button and then you'll be notified every time I release a video. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to put them in the comments below and I'll be excited to answer them for you. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, please speak up and let me know that. So thanks so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time. One love.